everybody. How are you doing? A very good Thursday morning to you all and welcome to this fabulous event. My name is Kelly Latimer and I will be hosting this session. I'm joined by Shu, who I will introduce properly in just a few short moments, but we would like to say a big hello and welcome. Today we're unveiling a very very special product, which I'm super excited about. Um, but first, let's talk about the wonderful woman that is joining me uh, and will be joining me for this entire session. A big hello to Ong Shu Huai, Managing Director of DuraBlinds, who are the official distributor as well as fabricator here in Singapore for ZipTrack. Mm -hmm. um, so thank you, Shu, for joining us here today. Uh, Good morning to you all. Just a quick overview of what we're going to be talking about today. We're going to be unveiling ZipTrack Interior. ZipTrack is a brand that all of you are familiar with. I am absolutely sure we're taking it a step further by bringing the product from outdoors to inside your home. And there are lots of creative options that you're going to be very excited about, I'm sure, as well. Mm. Then we're going to have a panel discussion. We're going to be talking with some incredible people uh, before we go over to the media Q&A. So if you've got questions, don't worry. You'll be able to get them answered a little bit later on. We do actually have our Q&A moderator in the chat box. So drop them a DM if you've got any questions at any point in the course of today's presentation. I think it's going to be an exciting one here today, but let's now have a quick check in and see who else we've got today. We've got Mr. Tony and Mark DeMeyer, the founder and inventor of uh, and managing director for ZipTrack. They'll be joining us. We've also got Pretty Naya, content creator and social media personality. She'll be joining us in a bit. Um, but shoo who's sat right next to me at the moment, Shu. Hi. It is incredible what you have done. DuraBlinds, like I mentioned, mm. you guys have brought ZipTrack into Singapore. You're the main fabricator here as well. That's right. And you've taken it to a whole new level with everything that you've done over this time. Uh, let's just start by telling us a little bit about you. Now, you have had an interior design background. That's right. Uh, so tell us a little bit about that and why you started DuraBlinds. Well, I was an interior designer for 12 years. And at that time, I helped a lot of homeowners to design their space. And uh, it, back then, um, quite a few years ago, we no, started to realize... No, can't be many years. Not many years at all. <laughs> <laughs> we started to realize that homeowners are not use, utilizing their space, especially the semi-outdoor spaces, i.e. the balcony very well. Um, and also over time, the trend of the buildings in Singapore has been homes having big bigger balconies yes and uh, oftentimes you even find balconies that are actually bigger than the living room and the dining room combined so when homeowners don't have ways to utilize that space it's left unused so oftentimes you find homeowners not really going out to the balconies at all because it's too dusty or noisy um, and they just leave it to be dust collector space or laundry areas you know. And it's such a pain to clean. It is, it is. <laughs> and it's, it's like you cannot step up to the balcony and enter your house properly again, you know. So then back then I just thought, okay, let's solve that problem. Uh, let's bring in products that can keep the balcony clean, make it cozy, uh, keep out the heat as best as we can. Um, so that's when we approach ZipTrack. Now, ZipTrack, I'm sure you're all familiar with. They are the original track-guided blind system from Australia. Um, and you guys have been bringing it for quite some years now, hey? Yes, yeah, so we brought it in back in 2016. And uh, we did our first installation in 2017. And we've just been successfully converting balconies one at a time. Uh, and it's just been great. But it's been it's absolutely incredible because no matter where you look in Singapore, you look up at yes. any condo, any apartment block, you are sure to see a zip track blind now. It is insane just how many people are realizing what it can do for their space. That's right. And that's a testament to the, the durability and the quality of the blinds itself. And homeowners love it. Oh, absolutely. I'm, I <laughs> definitely am on board with this. It is a great way to really maximize all the space you've got. And today we're going to be launching something very special. Oh, yes. Yes, we're going to be launching ZipTrack Interior. So we're bringing that same technology that you know and love with ZipTrack outdoors, and we're bringing it indoors with the interior product. Uh, but before we get into the nitty gritty on that, mm -hmm. let's cross over now to Australia because we are very, very lucky to have with us our guests of honor. Uh, everyone say a big hello and welcome to both Tony and Mark DeMaia. Guys, hello from Singapore. How are you guys doing? 
guys. Yeah, no, very good. Thank you. Thank good. you very much. Yeah, excellent. Okay, so let's Beautiful just check in. Here. Oh, it is looking fabulous. So we've got Tony Demeyer joining us with more than 40 years of experience. He had actually created a brand new market, right? Like you are the brains behind this fabulous product. Tony, quickly, can you just tell us a little bit about ZipTrack and your inspiration behind it? Yes, um, it started off with uh, ZipTrack with Clear PVC. And that was just purely to uh, enclose a, a pergola which uh, years ago was done with a zipper on either side of the of the skin you know so to to have it stable in the windy condition and i did a few jobs like that and it's really marvelous how it transforms the space that you know a lot of times you can't use it because of the weather and all of a sudden you put this clear PVC blinds around it and it becomes very usable and very user friendly. And it's, it's absolutely fantastic. So it really extends the season very much, you know, and especially like with clear PVC, you can see the garden and it's, it's, it's a marvelous solution. But the problem is uh, that we, once you undo the zips, you have to roll it up. You have to roll it up by hand and it's really not very, very nice to do. Uh, so it's it's very heavy and cumbersome and sometimes even dirty. And yeah, so uh, I decided now I can't really sell this product, you know, the way it is. And we have to do something about it. And uh, and which I did. Uh, you know, I was a I was a keen sailor. I still am. And uh, basically you had the idea of a, like a sails sliding up a mast. You know, it's, it's that sort of idea. So it took quite a few years to, to develop that and apply that to, to a blind system. Uh, but we managed to do that and we're still working at it today. And we've had a tremendous success because people really thought it was a no brainer. That, that's, just so ideal and so easy uh, to push the blind up and down, uh, you know, without any effort, really. And so it just stays wherever you leave it. And it's, a, a, like I said, it's a no brainer. People love it. And, and they are so encouraging, you know, to, to for us to keep going and keep, uh, yeah, no, Every year we keep uh, making things better and developing uh, new ideas or new uh, applications for it. Absolutely so wonderful. Tony, thank you so much for that little bit of a background. I think it's great to see how much effort has gone into it. And of course, with your son, Mark, coming back into the business, obviously, Mark, you'd spent some time in big name companies. You'd spent time over in Telstra as well before coming back to the family business. Um, we'd like to get a little bit of your insight with an opening address, because obviously now uh, you are growing the brand and taking it to all new heights. Yes, Kelly. Look, thank you very much. It's a lovely introduction. I mean, I came back to work with my dad. There's nothing like working with family. So uh, we're experiencing new things working as a family, uh, but we're having a um, look a good time. So I came back about, um, I think, 10 years ago now, and um, time, time is going pretty quick. But uh, I think, you know, ZipTrack was a product that um, has, uh, has grown. So the company started when I when I was here. We had ten people. Uh, now we've grown to forty five. We uh, export to uh, quite a few countries around the right around the world. Uh, and Duroblinds in Singapore and, and Malaysia uh, are fantastic partners to be working with. Um, so you know, at ZipTrack, what we look for an effective solution uh, for consumers. We try to. Um, create products that give insulation. So our products are track guided, so it's fu fully enclosed. Um, and we look, to, um, we look to build and change products for the markets that require it. So we work very close with Duroblinds on, for Singapore, yeah, to make sure that we've got, our products have a Singaporean flavor. 
and um, it's important that we we're listening and we're hearing what people are saying and and we take that on board and we develop things um, along the way. So it's been it's been a long journey and it's continuing and uh, we love we love what we do and you know besides when Tony kicks me under the table and and and, and, and comes <laughs> past and tells me off you know but uh, it's been good working with with the family as well. I was going to say Tony or Dad. How, what, what's the usual yeah. term that you use? It must be. It must be an interesting yeah, well, one. Some of the names we can't say on television, but, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but no, it's usually it's usually Tony. So um, yeah, good pick up. So I don't yeah I don't say Dad too often, and actually not even at home. Um, it's just a habit that I had from, from very young. So maybe it was already it was in my destiny to work with my. Tony. Yeah. So. yeah, I was going to say uh, and, and even a quick correction there. Now, Tony, you are obviously an incredible name in the industry. I mean, you've been inducted into the Blind Manufacturers Association, Association of Australia's Hall of Fame. That is a pretty incredible feat. Anyone who's not in the in industry probably doesn't realize how high an accolade this is. But for you to be inducted into that, I mean, you have taken this brand and it has blown up everywhere. I think, Mark, you referenced that you guys are in 15 countries around the world. You've got more than 700 retailers um, as well as distributors, authorized fabricators. It is incredible what you have done. How does that feel, Tony, to be someone who is of like that high esteemed yes look i have to say I would, it was a great honor to be to be chosen and uh, it was mainly also because uh, before of course the before zitra came along the industry basically was running on uh summer time you know like there's only summertime. In the winter time, the whole industry sort of slowed down very, very, very much. And all of a sudden, there was this product called Zitrack that people love to buy in the winter as well. So that was really remarkable. So we actually, you know, well, that was a game changer, as they say. Uh, you know, that to have a product, uh, yeah, that was actually selling very well in the you know, found a market in the winter time. Uh, there was something very unusual, and uh, it was very sought after. So that helped us along quite a bit. So Fabulous. that was great. Well, it's really nice to see. I think both of you have referenced the fact that you've listened to the market, you've seen what has been there. And I think it's great that you guys take that consumer feedback really seriously in, on, in order to generate products which really work for everyone and for lots of different uses. And I think just crossing now over to Shu, uh, we come back to you because this product has now changed, it's morphed and we're going from outdoors to indoors with ZipTrack Interior. That's right. It is incredible to see the level of customization that you have as well, but I'm going to leave it to you now to tell us a little bit more about this incredible product that you guys are bringing indoors to really help Singaporeans, especially maximize their space. Okay. Well, uh, first off, I'd like to thank Mark and ZipTrack Australia theme for in the invaluable support amidst the logistical challenges that COVID-19 pandemic has presented over the past two years while preparing for this launch. Um, we truly value the ZipTrack team for their responsiveness and dedication to ensuring that any product they produce is of incredible quality. Over the years, we've noted a considerable demand for indoor blinds that provide superior insulations and advanced light control amongst local homeowners. You see, our goal has always been to offer our homeowner solutions that maximizes and redefines living spaces, and we are thrilled to introduce to Singapore and Malaysia the newest addition to the ZipTrack line, ZipTrack Interior. ZipTrack Interior will be available at authorized ZipTrack Interior retailers from today. With the launch of ZipTrack Interior, we hope to help homeowners achieve more effective spatial planning using an indoor product that integrates form and function. What function, you might ask? Well, instead of listening to me ramble on, my team has kindly spared you by putting together a video.
Google, Google, let there be light. As you can see from the video, ZipTrack Interior offers an endless number of possibilities for owners to customize the blinds for their needs. Beyond the classic use of blinds to shield light through, coming through windows, ZipTrack Interior blinds can also be utilized in a variety of ways to maximize and improve the use of space within homes and commercial spaces because of its iconic track-guided nature. Let's talk about the most obvious benefit. ZipTrack is capable of complete blackout with traditional blinds and curtains. Those who wish to have to sleep during the day end up with imperfect light protection. The problem gets exacerbated if you turn the fan on or leave your windows open. Okay, let me go back. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm sure that the clanking of the chains against your blind, cabinet or window frame is not an unfamiliar sound to those of you who have blinds at home. With ZipTrack interior, regardless of whether you have the air conditioning on, opt for natural ventilation or have the fan on, the blind stays in place, providing complete blackout as you witnessed in our opening videos. This is absolutely crucial for those on shift work and mothers who are sleep training their little ones. Talking about the little ones, have you ever noticed this little warning on your roller blind? As a mother, I've always been rather appalled by this message on the blinds we commonly find in homes. But let's not stop here. ZipTrack Interior's blackout capability, when combined with projectors, also offer home entertainment enthusiasts and gamers the opportunity to use their blinds as a projector screen. By shutting out the light, homeowners can now use these previously untapped areas for projections. There we go. Leaving precious walls for carpentry and other users. There we go. This one. So when you close the blinds, you can throw images on it and this, the blind turns into a projector screen for you. So obviously you can do that. One moment. Okay, obviously you can do that to business setting as well. Those seeking to express their artistic side now have another avenue for self-expression. Rather than hang art pieces along the wall, which is valuable space that can be used for other purposes, considering Singapore's expensive real estate, homeowner can opt to print quotes, images, and even license that work on their blinds on a range of light filtering and blackout fabrics with zip track interior. Fashionista can now rejoice too. Rather than choosing between traditional wardrobe doors or leaving the walk-in wardrobe open and having dust accumulate on their prized possessions, they can now preview their entire collection at the click of the button or even using voice control with motorized zip track interior blinds. Imagine that. With clever lighting techniques and the right fabric selections, interior designers can also create magic for homeowners seeking to do something different. With twin installation and clever lighting, interior designers can change the entire ambience of a room while offering homeowners the best of our light filtering and blackout fabrics or any combinations they may choose. ZipTra interior is available with the signature manual blinds, uh, with the super spring options or motorized. These offer homeowners five different types of operating methods. So this is the fingertip control. Yes, it is that light and easy. All motorization through the use of a remote control, mobile app, and voice activation or even integrated with a smart home system. ZipTrack interior can also be installed without the use of silicon, which deteriorates over time. ZipTrack foam technology allows excellent seal 
while negating the need for silicon and fast periodical touch-ups. In this sense, installing ZipTrack interior blinds is very convenient. Singapore's residents, like in many cities, live in high-rise apartments. So we've also worked out how to install ZipTrack interior blinds on top of invisible grills and window grills that may stick out from the wall in a visually appealing way. On top of that, we've also considered details including aesthetics, finish, costs, and installation consistencies in coming up with these solutions. With that, I've come to the end of my presentation. All things considered, ZipTrack Interior is a, very, a wonderfully versatile product that is a great addition for every home. Together with ZipTrack Australia's support, we've worked out practical, long-lasting ways for the solution to be a part of your residential and commercial spaces. And we are incredibly excited at the most and at almost endless way to utilize the blinds within your home. I am sure homeowners will enjoy selecting from the extensive range of fabrics and customization options that will suit a myriad of needs and home functions to help you create a space that is infinitely yours. Thank you very much, Shu. Wow, listening to that, I'm going, oh my goodness me, so many exciting things that you could do. Just one thing that popped to mind. You know all those NFTs that people have been buying? Mm -hmm. Maybe they should be uh, printing it uh, on, on, their, on their new blinds. That's that would right. be an interesting way to showcase the NFTs that you can only really see on your screen, <laughs> which I think is quite an exciting way. Okay, so lots to talk about then mm -hmm. about this ZipTrack interior, and I've got lots of questions. I know you have as well. If you've got any questions, just before we head into our panel discussion, if you've got any questions, regarding Shu's presentation about ZipTrack Interior, just message our Q&A admin on the chat, direct message them, and then put in your questions there. We'll be answering them in our media Q&A a little bit later after our panel discussion. Shu, so much that can be done, but let's rope in the rest of the team for our panel discussions, shall we? So let's bring back Tony and Mark, as well as Pretty Nayo. This is the first time we're seeing Pretty. Pretty, hello, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you for joining us. You are looking lovely this morning. Sorry, Tony, Mark, you guys are looking lovely too. I do promise that. <laughs> Okay, so let's let, let's kick off our panel discussion then. I think there's lots to talk about, especially mm -hmm. with ZipTrack Interior. Um, but maybe, Mark, we'll start with you. This is an exciting new product. You guys are clearly taking the business in a whole new direction. T tell us a little bit about your vision for the future for ZipTrack. Um, thanks, thanks, Kelly. Yeah, so the vision for the future for ZipTrack I think what we've seen for the interior product is we saw how people used the exterior. Yeah, so we saw how they actually were installing exterior products into, uh, into the inside of buildings, onto windows where it wasn't possible to put an exterior product. And so we're looking for ways of, you know, to meet customer solution, uh, meet custom, customer demands with real solutions. And um, so from that, we developed an interior product. And so we continuously look at the way people are using our products, uh, listening to our customers, uh, whether it's in Australia or in Singapore, Malaysia, uh, Holland, France, Indonesia, New Zealand. And, and we listen and we try to uh, develop on those requirements. So where are we taking ZipTrack? We're taking it, it's actually the consumers take it with us. And they're, they're the ones uh, helping us take the business into certain directions. And we, we try to provide products that help and service them. So we have a team of developers here and, and we do a lot of product development and we speak to our customers, and that's true, but we also speak to the actual uh, consumers and the people who buy our products. And so we, we continuously develop new products and, and, and look at the, the existing ones, how we can do things better yeah, and how we can make sure that in Singapore uh, it services consumers the best way possible because we know that you're living in different environment to Australians and so we we do that not only in Singapore but we do that around the world so that's how we're taking the company where we're looking and listening and and allowing the consumers to guide us a little bit but but at the same time, we have an eye on trends. We have an eye on, on, on what's happening in the market and, 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 and we're trying 
to research and development in different areas as well. That's so fantastic. I, I hopefully that answers your question there, Kelly. Absolutely. Uh, no. I go off in some tangents. But, no, uh, no, I, th I think that's great. I think it's great to see that direction. And I think that consumer focus is really important. Uh, Shu, here in Singapore, obviously, you've got your feet on the ground. You know what people are doing. You know what people are demanding for as well. How does the Singapore market differ from the other markets maybe? Like, is there something Singapore specific that you've noticed over the years? Um, well, homeowners in Singapore are very uh, demanding when it comes to the quality of the product. <laughs> and every, everything has we to be... We are discerning apps. customers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. And um, so when it comes to quality and the finishes, they are very, very particular. And of course, in Singapore, we live in high-rise buildings, most of us. So um, having protections like grills are very important. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of... Uh, window finishing finishing products like blinds or horizontal blinds they don't really cater space for drills so um we incorporated solutions for that to bring in zip track that's really really good and i think you bring up the point of the invisible girls i think that's that's something that a lot of people are doing at the moment mm. um especially with someone who has young children like i would worry if i was in a high-rise situation but to know that you guys have actually taken that sort of feedback and gone, okay, so how can we make it work? How can we also make it work, but make it look nice? Yes. I think that's really important because mm. nowadays we are very discerning about how our house looks. Everyone's very home proud because we're spending so much time at home and you want it to look good. And I think someone who wants her home to look good is pretty, right? Pretty? Yes, for sure. <laughs> yeah. But your yeah, house is looking so amazing. <laughs> yeah. So, I honestly, like, I think throughout this entire home renovation, so I just moved into a new house. Congratulations. Spent, thank you. I spent me like the last six months just working on everything. And I think my zip track blinds are my favorite thing in the new house. I, I have to say that because it's so, it's so much fun. It really just helps me and all my family members so much. We have it in all the bedrooms and it looks amazing. Like it is just in the background. It's not even down yet, but the frame and everything looks so good. And it looks so like seamless. So yeah, and I also have my remote right here. So I could just like bring it down whenever I want. Oh, go on, do a little demo for us. Oh, so look at that. Look yeah, at that, it's so it. slick. Yeah. So yeah, it just changes the vibe. If I was sitting there, it would be super, super cozy. And yeah, it's like broad daylight, but it's now completely changed the vibe. No, I think it's really nice. I think it's quite apparent with pretty setup at the moment that you can see that just now it was massively overexposed coming in through the window, but you've just managed to cut out the glare. And I guess as a content creator, like making sure you have good light in your home, uh, it must be super important for you. Yeah. So in my bedroom, my desktop is set up right in front of my window. Mm -hmm. So before I had the blinds installed, I literally could not work at my desktop. After a couple of minutes, my eyes were just so sore. I just had to like use my laptop and just move somewhere else. So I think with a, with a setup like that, blinds are super important because I want to make sure my products don't overheat. I want to make sure the lighting is appropriate when I'm on Zoom calls. And because I have the dual configuration, I can also just black out my room whenever I want. So as someone who sleeps like really late, sometimes it's early in the morning, <laughs> the blackout function is super, super useful as well. Okay, cool. Well, let's talk a little bit about the technology behind it then. And I think the best people to answer that would be to uh, Tony. I think let's talk a little bit about um, the difference that track guided blinds actually offer and, and the advantages of having something like that over, over traditional blinds. Yes, of course, when you have uh, traditional blinds, you have gaps on all sides, basically. So you have gap on the sides, the bottom, the top. So what happens there is when you have uh, a hot external temperature, the glass gets hot. You know, if it's 38 or 40 degrees, the glass gets very hot and it starts a convection of air between the blind that rises and comes over the top and sucks in, you know, fresh air from the, the probably from your air conditioner, you know, that comes in from the bottom and heats up again and goes to the top. Whilst with a zip track, of course, it's completely sealed all the way around. So you actually have a still layer of air between the blind and glass, which gives a very good insulation quality. So it is much cooler when you come home, uh, rather than coming into a hot box, you know, after work, you come home and the first thing you do is, my goodness, 
it's so hot, uh, you know, put on the air conditioning. Uh, of course, it'll still be quite warm, even with, you know, zip track blinds, but much less, much less hot. So there's quite a temperature difference. And of course, the advantage also is of total blockout that is possible with the blind like that, which a lot of people appreciate very much. And I didn't know how many people, lots of people actually love to have a totally dark room when they sleep. I'm, I'm going to say as a parent, trying to sleep train my kids, the moment you've got like oh. that little bit of light leak, you're just like, no, especially when, I guess it would be more apparent if you lived somewhere where the sun sets at 10 p.m. But even in Singapore, where the sun only goes down at like, it, it's only dark at like 7.30. My son goes to sleep at 6.45 sometimes. It's still bright outside. Trying to make sure the room is dark is a whole new ball game. But pretty, you're someone who is up late into the night. So this must be an absolute godsend for you. Yeah, so sometimes I'm going to bed at like, it's very unhealthy, but sometimes I go to bed at like six in the morning and I know the sun's about to come up. So I just put on the blackout blinds and it, my room just feels like I just rewind time and it's 11 p.m. at night, it's super dark. And the only light I see would be like my air condition, that one yellow light in the room. So it's really, it's so impressive. It has become my new party trick to show people in my house. I'll be like, okay, come to my room. And then I'll close the door and I'll just bring down the blackout blinds and everyone's just speechless. And then everyone it's... goes for a nap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, they could if they wanted to because it's just completely dark. But yeah, it's, it's, been, it's been really interesting using the blinds and it's been so helpful because I think, especially with working at my desk, I think having the day, the day curtain down, the day blinds, that has just been so much that's changed the com complete vibe of my room. I have it down almost all the time and I live on like the second floor. So privacy is super, super important because when I stand by my window with the blinds up, I can literally make eye contact with people who are walking by my house. That's just so, weird. Yeah, it's super weird. <laughs> There's a playground right outside my window. So it gets super crowded and sometimes I just, I'm just like, okay, I don't want to accidentally make eye contact with people. This is so weird. <laughs> so I have it down most, most of the time and it's really cozy and I, I love it. <laughs> I can imagine sort of like, I've just got this picture of you trying to film viral content and you're doing weird things in your bedroom and you're making eyes with a little kid on the second floor of his little play area. Just not so good, not a, not a great look. But okay, yeah. interestingly, Tony was talking about the insulation properties um, in Singapore, obviously. We want to try and make sure, I mean, aircon's on so often. It is so warm. Australia, I know it gets very hot in the summer, but Singapore is just hot all year round. <laughs> Yes. So Shu, I can imagine for you, like your Singaporean customers are going, okay, how can we make sure that we're taking the most or making the most of our air conditioning and making sure that we're staying cool? But also, what if you've got an apartment which is west facing? Yeah. So with apartments that is west facing, you can consider the heavier fabric blinds or blackout blinds. And uh, the thing with zip track, as Tony had mentioned, there are frames around it. So it's a complete seal. So it, there's a thin layer of air pockets in there that will help keep out the heat. Now, for Singapore, yes, it is hot. Uh, but we also have wind in Singapore. We do have wind in Singapore, but That's a lot true. of people don't realize that. And um, they like to keep their windows closed uh, because otherwise their regular curtains or blinds will be flying about. With interior zip track, what you can do, you can opt for fenty mesh material, which is very highly porous fabric material that allows natural air to come through. So what that means is you can don't switch on the aircon, leave your window open, close your blinds with venti mesh, natural air will come through. So with natural Amazing. light, meanwhile, you keep out flying insects. Mm -hmm. And you get some privacy. You don't have to worry about neighbors looking into your apartment. It's, it's fantastic. You can just leave your fan on, safe on, safe on your aircon view. I think that's one key thing. I mean, pretty you were talking about the fact that that privacy issue is a big thing for you. But then with that and closing any blinds, curtains, whatever, then it means you're not getting that air circulation. And I think especially with the pandemic, even before that, you, you want that natural air. You don't want That's to be right. stuck in air conditioning, aside from the fact that it is terrible for your skin mm. uh, to be stuck in air conditioning. It dries out everything um, and even your voice, right, Pretty? I mean, if you're producing content, that vocal quality is really important. Yeah, for sure. And I also, I also noticed that, so I have blinds in my kitchen as well. And of course, in the kitchen, it gets pretty warm. Like when my mom's there, my mom cooks amazing meals all the time. So she's in the kitchen quite often, cooking for hours. And you just see it gets so warm. And sometimes they are like flying insects 
almost every day there are a couple of flies in the house. So the solution was to keep the blinds down after we got them installed. When my mom's cooking for hours, you know, we keep all the lights on so it's bright no matter what. And we have the blinds down in the kitchen. So it really just keeps all the insects out. And we do, we do still get wind in the kitchen. So it's still really, really nice and breezy in the house. But we're just making sure that no insects get in. Awesome. Okay. So there's lots more that you can do with these zip track interior blinds, right? Mm -hmm. You mentioned the wardrobe capabilities, the fact that you can get creative with your space. And I think in Singapore, we are space starved. We have smaller apartments. The apartments are getting smaller mm -hmm. um, and they have done progressively over the past couple of decades. So people need to get creative with these solutions. Yeah. These blinds are a good way to help you do that, right? Yes, that's right. So you can use that as a space converter. Nice. Tell <laughs> us a little bit more about that. So you can use the blinds uh, as uh, to replace wardrobe doors. You can use them as um, uh, partitions to create spaces that uh, segregates, you know, living areas. So different people, especially with so many people being stuck at home during the pandemic, it's important to create personal spaces. So that's what the blinds can allow you to do instead of having, you know, doors, sliding doors, which take up space and they're expensive to have. You can install zip track blinds because the product is 100% retractable. And you can just tug it away when you don't need it. And when you need it, just bring it, bring the blinds down. So uh, you can create privacy spaces. You can, um, yeah, you can even install it in, you can even install it in kitchens. Um, so if you have open concept kitchens uh, with open space, you can install the zip tray interior blinds and close the blinds down when you're cooking so that prevents the fumes from escaping into the living room and dining room. I think that's one of the biggest things, right? Everyone loves this open concept kitchen, but it's yes. not always the best thing. You want to fry something, you want to cook some balachan. Balachan's the worst. <laughs> okay. But okay. at least this gives you the option just to have that little bit of division. A lot of people were talking about working from home mm. and creating that sort of space. Um, and I think briefly, I think both Tony and Mark have mentioned about sort of keeping out the, the, the temperature, but mm. then it's also got sound absorbing qualities as well. So when you're working from home, you're able to create that nice, cozy environment for you to be able to work from home in, right? That's right. Um, so the, the, the thicker the fabric, the better it is at absorbing sound. So yes, muted noise is far better than direct exposure to noise. Absolutely. So um, we are not saying the blinds will 100% keep out noise. Yep. That's not what the product promised, but with the correct barrier uh, or the correct fabric selection, it can help. And I think it would definitely absorb some of that. I mean, you talk about putting putting up blankets. I mean, pretty. how many times have you been trying to, <laughs> especially when you first started maybe, uh, recording a voiceover, put your head under a blanket, you know? <laughs> Yes, <laughs> I will. I will confess that's what I used to do at home. I just like put my head under a blanket because any sort of fabric will help to absorb that that reverb and the and the rebound coming off the walls, right? So I guess for you as a content creator, it's helped you get a bit more creative with what you can do in in your space, especially when you're filming. Yeah, for sure. And and because I live on such a low floor, and because there's a playground right outside my window, this is really really important. Because when I bring the blinds down, I literally can hear the difference, and I'm just like. Uh, I mean, of course, it's not completely silent, but it makes a massive difference. It really makes all the difference. And especially when you're trying to record something, the microphones now pick up everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I think any kind of like uh, soundproofing is super, super useful. So yeah, I put it down every time I need to record a, a voiceover for my videos and things like that. I always have the blinds down just in case because you don't want something to just ruin that voiceover or that Absolutely. good take over there. In that moment, if it's a good take, it's a good take. So we've talked about the practicality side of things. Let's talk a little bit about the aesthetics now. And before I get to Shu talking about everything that we can do, maybe Mark, the aesthetics, how important was it for you guys to create a product that looked super good, especially inside the home? It was um, it was very important for us. Yeah. So the exterior product is um, it's large, it's robust, it's uh, it's there to withstand also high winds, um, which can be for on the high rise apartments, but can also be on coastal areas in Australia. So when we looked at the interior product, we wanted to make something that suits people's homes. Yeah. I would love to tell you, Kelly, that I took my my you know paintbrush and I designed the shapes and the forms um, but uh, we, we have a team of people here to do that so I wasn't 
uh, personally responsible for all of the shapes. Um, but what we did is we took it and we made everything smaller. We made different sizes. So if you have a larger blind, you know, you have a larger box and so forth. But but what, what was important for us is that it should almost be invisible. Yeah, it should almost be invisible. So we, we don't want something in your home that, that you have to look at that's obtrusive. We want something that sort of hides away. Uh, so for us, it, it's very important and we continue that, you know, and we continue that. So um, it's, it's, it's part of our development of the interior product and interior products in general is to make sure that they're, they're there, but they're not there, if you know, if you know what I mean. So. Mm -hmm. And I guess for you guys, when you saw that people started using that exterior product for interior spaces, you, you knew that you had, you were onto a winner there. That's right. That's right. And what Tony mentioned was, um, the, the number of people yeah, that or the type of people that use our products. So we found them going into childcare yeah, and into schools because there are no courts. So that was the first, actually probably the first um use of the product was in childcare and schools so that it uh, so that children as, as Shu mentioned in the video the cords for uh, for children so it, that was actually a, a a big winner for um uh, for young kids but we also see shift workers yeah um it sounds to me that pretty is a bit of a shift worker herself there going to bed <laughs> at six o'clock in the morning so um I, it's a good example there so shift workers um home cinemas uh, they, they, they're the uses that we've seen for the block out uh, features. No, I think I think it's really, really good. And just going back to the aesthetics of it, then Shu, you can you've you've taken it to the next level, haven't you? Yes, I have. Um, I must say, this has been my favorite project. Go on, tell, since, tell me. As, ever tell since me. we started this business, so um, like what Mark say, uh, the zip track interior actually has very slim pelmet. It's really sexy. It's like mm -hmm. seventy five mm only. I've never heard of height. blind been referred to as <laughs> sexy, but okay, let's so, let's roll with it. <laughs> yes. So now that in in the standard uh, configuration, it's available in you know white, black, and anodized silver, but we pushed it a little bit more actually a lot more go on. if we're going to go for it we go all out so so we offer uh for the frame uh configurations we offer wood grain finishes we have eight different uh colors that you can choose for from and uh, we have stone metallic and leather finishes as well now all this the purpose of that is to make sure that the frame really disappear it should be integrated into interior design and it should blend in with what is already there in the home. See, so this maybe, is your ID background I'm coming sorry, out, isn't it? You're just like, it has to this. look beautiful. <laughs> so, yeah, so you can, you can match it to your favorite laminates or your door frames or your door, even your floor. So you can choose something like that to make it blend in or you can make it into a signature piece that really make it stand up, stand out. So that along with the correct selection of fabrics, and we have four se selections uh, in terms of series. And uh, if you have the correct series that works for you, you can create all sorts of functionality with your blinds. I love it. I love it. Yeah. Actually, if you just take a look just behind us down here on that second shelf, uh, that's where you'll see, there you go, uh, you'll see all these different finishes. And I think it's incredible that you've just taken it one step further. Pretty, you're a big fan of the aesthetics of yours, aren't you? Yes, and I think since I'm live from my home and also on my laptop, I need to show you how seamless it looks. Okay. So this is literally my balcony and this is what my contractors did. They have like a walnut colored wall and this is literally the blind frame. No way. Exactly the same. You cannot tell it is, it looks completely part of the design. So everything's the same exact color. The blinds don't like stick out at all. It looks like everything was intentional. So when, when Shu showed me all the fab, all the, the options for the different frame grains, like all the wood grains, when I saw this, I was like, okay, we're obviously getting this. We have so much like walnut green and the walnut green colors in the house, all our furniture is really like dark walnut. So once my family saw that, we were like, okay, this, this has to be it. So all our blinds have the same exact wood grain finish. And it looks so sleek, it is so seamless, and yeah, it looks like it was super intentional and as if we picked everything before it happened, but the blinds were actually one of the last few things to come in and it just matched so well. But I think that's something that's really changed. I think especially with the way that ZipTrack Interior has gone, it is now a consideration whilst you're planning, whilst you're designing your home. It's no longer an afterthought, is it, Shu? Yes. Well, it can work both ways, actually. Mm -hmm. It can be 
and intentional selection of material, it can actually lead the way in the design expression. Wow. Um, well, for homeowners who have already moved in with you know things already built in, they can still choose from a wide variety of frames. You've you've got a huge Anyways. selection. In. So how yeah, many? So Thirty-one. Do you have? Wow. For now, what we intend to do is over time, as we listen to the market, see what they want, we can always introduce special editions. Okay. That's I, I really like the fact that you guys, whether it's Mark and Tony or whether it's here in Singapore with Durablines, you guys are really listening to the consumers and you're really trying to pave the way to make sure that you are attending to their needs. And I think one of the other things is that Singaporeans are now very discerning um, artwork. For example, I mean, you'll see just behind us on either side, uh, we've got these beautiful pieces of art, but it's not art. It's a blind. And that blows my mind. Yes. So you can print, customize prints onto the blinds. And we do offer three different materials. So they can be on blackout materials, venti mesh or, or large material uh, to provide the privacy, but still allow in the light. But the thing is, whatever you see is your, of your choice. You know, you can put your favorite pictures, your favorite travel photos, something of your wedding or your child, um, and make it completely yours. And you can change it. Yes, and you can change it anytime you want. Like in two or three years' time, if you want to replace your fabric, you can. And I think you guys have gotten really creative because we talked about um, having, and I think you saw in the video as well, the multiple blinds. I think a lot of people like having the light, but they also like having the option. And Mark, you touched just now on the fact that sort of like you've made the interior a lot slimmer, a lot thinner, so at least you can do a lot more in the home space. Um, so all of that thought, I mean, a lot of R&D must have gone into that. Yeah, the, the, we, the, yes, Kelly, yes. Yes, <laughs> <Sorry>. yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is a lot of R&D. So it, it, sometimes these things, they look easy, but um, uh, it, it takes a lot of time and development, uh, a lot of trial. Um, you know, so we've had interior in uh, Australia for some time, but um, we've been, we, uh, we were keen to work with, uh, with Durablines and, and Shu and Kelvin and the team to bring it to Singapore. And they, they were very keen too. So, um, yeah, it takes a lot of development uh, making these changes and we're proud of our development team and, uh, you know, Tony and I get involved and, um, you know, sometimes our staff aren't so happy about that, but uh, that's another story. But, uh, but no, but we, so as a team, we work through things and um, it's a lot of development work uh, and, we're, and, and we're happy that people are enjoying the product and uh, are finding new uses for the product. You know, this is amazing what, you know, the wardrobe doors and the way that shoe's presenting it, I think it's amazing. They're things that we wouldn't have thought about. No, so, I think, I think uh, Shu's done a fantastic job with what Durabline is doing at the moment. I think they're really changing that interior design space here in Singapore. We hope so. We hope people like it. And there'll probably be more. It just takes time for us to discover it. Ah, I yeah. see. I see. You're already laying, <laughs> laying the groundwork for more interesting things to come. I think we're going to wrap up this panel discussion. But as we just wrap it up, Shu, um, I'd like to know, sort of like, what's your vision for ZipTrack Interior in Singapore homes? Well, I hope it really rocks the world of interior designers and homeowners and that it become an integral part of their design, uh, that they see it not only as something that beautifies the house, but it also adds functionality to their design. After all, with any interior design, aesthetic is important, but if it doesn't work, it doesn't serve the lifestyle of people, it doesn't, it, it's, it's just useless. So not only we want things to be pretty, we want it to be functional and we want it to be durable. Absolutely. I think that's a great message to end up our panel discussion on. Uh, we are going to be taking some questions in a short moment. But just a quick reminder, if you need to, you can just DM our Q&A admin on the chat box so that we can get your questions in if you have any. Uh, but I think I'd just like to go back to the whole aspect of safety. We, we touched a little bit on it. I think, Mark, you touched on it as well, saying how the childcare centers had started using it. And as someone who has young children, I, it's quite shocking. You're saying how shocked you were by the messages. Those cords are an absolute nightmare. But to have something which is a safe product that you can use at home, that, that must be a huge thing for your consumers. Um, I think so. Uh, definitely. It's not only it must be safe, it must be easy to operate as well. So um, certainly the ZipTrack blinds uh, already offer that, even with our outdoor selection. So, 
Yeah, absolutely. Now, we were talking as well about the dual function um, and just in Singapore homes, like size wise, is it a very bulky thing or do you think that it's... Um, in terms of size wise, well, in, when it comes to Singapore homes, uh, there are so many different configurations. We mm -hmm. have HDBs, we have condominiums, we have office spaces. So, um, okay, with office spaces, right? So the blinds can be as narrow as 500 mm. Wow. And it's, it can be as wide as 300, 3,000 mm or 3 meters. Yeah. Uh, that's the same with height as well. So um, it, the, the pelmet is very slim. And uh, the fact is that we can install it in this kind of configuration is not a problem. I love it. Okay, so we've got a couple of questions coming in at the moment. We've got okay. Just Saying Asia uh, wanting to know how ZipTrack compares to blackout curtains with regards to sound isolation and diffusion. Earlier on, we talked about the fact that obviously, like, it's not going to give you sort of like complete sound blackout but in mm. terms of to your regular blackout curtains if you're going to be comparing mm. are we looking at similar sort of results yes i think it will be it's just very much like the concept of double glazed glass and the purpose of double glazed glass is actually having that thin air to trap in uh, in within so with um zip track interior being that all sides are already sealed if your windows are already closed and the blinds that is non-porous are down then obviously then there will be that layer of air that's trapped in between the blinds and the glass. So that provides that insulation, that sound barrier as well. Uh, is very effective, as Pretty has said. Yeah, I think it's really interesting. I think double, the concept of double glazed glass is very familiar in places like Australia, the UK, America, where you're using double glazing to really keep the heat inside your home and to keep the cold out but it's sort of the reverse here in Singapore but then you do get that added layer of the sound protection as well so just that pocket of air I think really does help and I think just having that really will give you good results at home as well 99.co Christian Barker asking how I'm not sure if this is for <laughs> this, this is definitely a personal question how can I convince my landlord to replace the existing Venetians with zip track bracket Help me out here. I'm helping a brother out. Okay, we we are gonna we're gonna help. You. Okay, so we're gonna do a two pronged approach here. Um, firstly, pretty. How would you convince the landlord, um, <laughs> dear Mister Landlord? <laughs> um, I would make and then I would tell him to watch the Pretty Please video that is up the, the upcoming Pretty Please video all about the blind. <laughs> And then I think he will be convinced. <laughs> I think immediately he'll be like, say no more. You know what? They look amazing. They work great. <laughs> so let's do it. So yeah, awesome. I, would, I would sell him on my content. <laughs> okay. All right. There's a little personal plug there, but we, we love it. Okay. Pretty, pretty great salesperson because she, she is an absolute, you clearly love the product. You clearly love how it's transformed your life at home. Um, Mark, I want to find out from you. How would you convince this landlord? Well, okay. I think the, the one way that you could do it is you can look at, you know, the, the increasing the value of the property. So uh, Venetian blinds, I mean, I'm not sure in Singapore if you're using the wooden Venetian blinds or you're using the, uh, the aluminium ones, but uh, whichever one, you know, they're dust collectors, you know, they collect dust, they can, they can bend and they can break. Yeah. So um, one, one avenue is to look at the increasing the value of the, of the home. Yeah, and um, and that value of the home is by installing a good, reliable product that can be, you know, that will last for years and uh, provides a, a, the benefits as well to the tenants. Spoken like a true businessman, Shu. From an ID's perspective, then, how would you convince Mr. Landlord? Well, I'll say that when it comes to the blinds, if you have zip track blinds, you can choose to have the blackout function, mm -hmm. or you can have dual function to it. So then that increase that changes the way people experience the space. You can reach out to more spectrum of um, rent uh, tenants. Uh, maybe they want, you know, blackout functionality. They, maybe they are ship workers. And uh, then, you know, this is a product that is for them. I think there's obviously this whole thing about the fact that it's very low maintenance. Mark brought up just now Venetian blinds, the fact that they're so awkward. I used to have Venetian blinds in my previous apartment and it was a nightmare. Mm. individually cleaning these slats was a pain in the 
Yeah, it was really, <laughs> it was really annoying and very, very time consuming. Yes. Um, but obviously with zip track, you don't have to worry about that, do you? No, not at all. The the fabric material is vertical, so you don't really have a lot of horizontal spaces whereby dust can collect on it. So it's absolutely low maintenance, and the product does come with three years warranty. Very, very good. I like to, we all like to hear about the <laughs> warranty. Okay, so let's let's keep the conversation going then. Um, talking a little bit about uh, sort of creating more room at home. We talked about carving out spaces for people. Uh, in terms of the imprint, like say if you were to almost make a room uh, so that you can work from home more efficiently, how, how would you do that? Is it an easy thing to do, Shu? Mm, in terms of uh, installing blinds to create yeah, spaces, yeah. yes, it's definitely easy because all you need, sorry, all you need is basically to mount the palmet mm -hmm. to the ceiling or to any walls that you can have. So um, it's quite easy, easy to install zip track. Mm -hmm. um, and and how, lo how long would it take for someone to do that? Because I think whenever whenever anyone thinks about doing renovation, installation of things, they think, oh, I've got to be like, I've got to move out of my house for a little while. I've got to get stuff done. No, not at all. With, with Ziptra Interior, um, the installation for per blind is about one and a half hour to two hour. If you, oh, wow. So it really depends on the size of the blind, mm -hmm. whether you have motorization set in for it. Uh, and, of course, and of course, the... Uh, you know, the shape and the configuration of the walls. So, yeah, on average, it would take about two hours wow. per blind. That seems so like a it's very really, fast. really good solution. Yeah. Okay, well, I think we've managed to cover as much as we can in today's session. Just sort of rounding out today. Um, Tony and Mark, it's been fabulous having you guys join us. Do you have anything to say to the Singapore market? I would like to say uh, that in Singapore, particularly because of the high-rise, you know, buildings, that is a very appropriate product because there is absolutely nothing you can do on the outside. And of course, on the inside, uh, you have to really get a bang for your buck. Uh, that is, you have to get the maximum value for your dollar that you spend on window coverings and zip track will fit the bill uh, together with your appliance. That's for sure. Absolutely. Pretty, you've thoroughly enjoyed your zip track experience. Name me one thing that you absolutely love, 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 which you would tell everyone is like a, a must have. One thing is so tough, but aside from functionality, I would say, the aesthetic of the blinds are just, really the possibilities are endless. It completely transforms your home and every single space. And yeah, I think that has to be my favorite part. And of course it's motorized, so you can really control this anywhere in the home and just have fun with it. So my favorite thing is the look and how it completely transform, tran transformed my home. Fantastic. And Shu, uh, let's, let's just talk about Singapore. What, what's your hope for DuraBlinds and ZipTrack interior here? Like. What would you like to achieve? Um, well, I would want, uh, I would hope that every home have our product. <laughs> that would be the first off. And that, and then not only that um, homes has it, has it, but homeowners love it. Um, just like Pretty does. I think for me, what's the point of having a product unless somebody loves it? Absolutely. So, yeah, absolutely. Well, just to summarize here today, then obviously ZipTrack Interior, the brand new product that is now available in Singapore, courtesy of DuraBlinds, the exclusive uh, distributor as well as fabricator here in Singapore. We do have, I think, one final question. Okay, this, this, is, this is the last one. Will ZipTrack Interior be working with hoteliers in Singapore? Any potential partnerships? Well, um, we will wonder. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> just call us. <laughs> exactly. So if, if anyone yeah. has any questions whatsoever, you can just direct it to the team. They will be answering them. We do have, we've sort of run out of time, but just to summarize, ZipTrack Interior is definitely a way forward. You guys mm -hmm. have revolutionized the product by making it even more streamlined and sleek for you to be able to use at home for so many uses, whether it's just for making sure that you get better quality sleep with the blackout, increasing your privacy, maximizing your space by being able to use it as a projector screen or free 
freeing up that wall that you couldn't potentially use previously because you wouldn't have your computer, like Pretty said, uh, up against your window because of the glare, or just making your home look a lot more aesthetically pleasing with the printable function, the fact that you can customize your home to a whole new level. Shu, Mark, Tony, Preeti, thank you so much for joining us here today. Hopefully we've answered all of your questions, but like I said, if you need any more information, you can just drop a message to the team and they will be happy to answer all of your questions. And don't forget, you can also visit the website as well. You can head on over to sg.ziptrack.com to find out more information and also to get a comprehensive list of all the retailers here in Singapore you want to make sure that you're asking for genuine zip track. Mm. None of this other nonsense. If you're going to get the proper track guided blinds, it's got to be zip track. And in Singapore, Malaysia, especially make sure that you're getting it from Dura blinds. Thank you very much to everyone joining us. Tony, Mark, Pretty and Shu, thank you so much for all of you taking time out to join us here today. My name's Kelly. We're signing off for today, but congratulations to Dura blinds and zip track for this official launch of zip track interior. We will see you guys soon. Take care and have a fabulous day ahead. Goodbye, guys. Bye. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Bye-bye. Kelly. Bye-bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. Bye, Pretty. All right.